morning. It's day five and I've turned into a deer. <laughs> okay, that's the end of the pavement, about the seven kilometer mark. This is where I was yesterday. And uh, today I'm all loaded up. Had a nice breakfast at the Auberge Anticosti back in Port Meunier. And now I'm on the way. Okay, I'm at kilometer eight, which is as far as I got yesterday. And for me, I guess where the road really begins, that dust cloud there is a truck going by. That's probably the biggest danger of, you know, speaking accurately, I guess, uh, is the trucks. And uh, I know the trucks, because I've, I've heard about this, the trucks are careful to avoid you and they slow down. That one that just went by slowed down. Anyhow, before the next one comes by, here's what we look like on the road, fully packed. And it doesn't look as efficient as it is. <laughs> yeah, I know. Purist might say, not bike packing. I wanna see a purist do bike touring on this road. Uh, for 10 days with no supplies. So here comes another one. See, you see, and he's gonna slow way down. They're really good, that's what I'm told. And yeah, he's slowed right down for me. So I expect a lot of this. You know, see that was really nice. Not a fan of logging trucks, but I do love wood. It's got to come from somewhere. And uh, you know, out here mostly they're not really bothering anybody because there's nobody here to bother. All right, uh, so I'm going to get back on the bike. And like I say, this is kilometer eight, so I'm already a good way toward my objective. This is another helicopter road report. Okay, I'm at the uh, corner here of the road for the uh, Pourvoirie Lac Genevieve d'Anticosti. That's a private outfit that runs, uh, well, tours and things like that. And anyhow, this is their main road to the more north coast, uh, to the Bay de Trois Réseaux, Bay of Three Rivers, and Cap Caron. Now this says Point Nord, there are some other shorter routes, although the roads aren't quite as nice. And here comes a truck because, of course, we're gonna have a truck while I'm recording a video. Not that there's very many of them. Anyhow, this road looks good. Uh, it's got a little bit more gravel on it than the main road. Um, but uh, from this vantage point, it looks fine and previous experience suggests it would be like this all the way to Point Nord. Meanwhile, my main road, the Transanticostian, hard to see with the dust that that truck just kicked up, but it has continued to be, well, nice. And I'm having no problem cycling along it. I checked my tires, tires are in great shape. So I'm feeling pretty good. Just a note though, this is the condition in mid-August. If you come in winter, it'll be different. If you come in June or July, it probably will have a lot more gravel on it. That's why I chose August. Best gravel conditions, driest conditions. A little bit cooler, but this is the time to go. Okay, change of plans again. <laughs> I was going to continue down that road uh, for another 20, 25 kilometers and then stealth camp, which you're not supposed to do. I do have a campsite booked at Bay Martin, which is nine kilometers up that road, which looks passable and as an advantage won't have lumber trucks, logging trucks. So I'm gonna make a call with rain coming in. I'm gonna to go to Bay Martin, set up camp. Uh, it shouldn't take me more than an hour to get there. Uh, and that'll finish me off nice and early today. A good first day really on the road. Okay, this is another quick road report. I'm about halfway down the road to uh, uh, Cap 
whatever it was called, or I've forgotten the name of it. Uh, anyhow, I'm halfway down it, uh, and it was fine so far. It's getting a bit crunchy here. As you can see, it's a single, single vehicle road. And just where the water runs down the slope, it looks like it's a bit crunchy. Lots of rocks. We'll see how it goes. Bay Martin, that's where I'm headed. Mind like a steel trap. <laughs> Okay, Survivor Man's Zone of Assessment. Zone of Assessment 1, me. Well, I've got me and biking shorts. I'm in good shape. Zone of Assessment 2, what's immediately around me? Well, a ton of firewood that I won't use. Like, that's way more than I need. My bike and all my supplies, so that's pretty good, except I bent my rear carrier. I had sort of half a fall on the road down here. It was kind of rough. Um, you saw a little bit of it and it got rougher. So, especially right along the coast. Zone of assessment three, what's around me. I went up that path there. I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, but, and at the end of it, not very far away, a nice freshwater brook. So all my water problems are solved. And here I am by the sea. I'm setting up camp. I'm not a fan of Bay Martin, but could have been a lot worse. That water from the creek looks about as good as it gets. And it felt nice on my feet, that's for sure. But I'm still going to filter it using this. This is where the smart water bottle comes in really handy. And squeeze gently. And into the smart water bottle it goes. The water was delicious and cold. Today's meal, beef stew from Mountain House. So I bent my back frame, my back, my rack, that's this thing. And so I was able to push it back. But when I was testing it, I noticed this wheel was bent a bit. So I thought I better take it off, have a look at it. And I had a look at it. It's not rolling as smooth as I would like. Uh, it feels it feels clunky, like the ball bearings aren't right. Also, the brake is squeaking. But, I don't know. I oiled up the chain, and uh, I'll keep going. We'll see how it goes. It's best I can do for now. As I was puttering around, I stopped, because I thought I heard wolves howling. But there are no wolves on Anticosti Island. No, it was the seals barking out in the harbor. And that's kind of how my day five ended at Baymarkham on the